good, y'all. It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So I wanted to talk about this meme I saw earlier today on Instagram. Fighting a dude because your girl cheated. And then they got a picture, obviously, of Goofy. I'm not going to lie to you. I agree with this. I, I agree that anyone, any guy that finds out that their girl is cheating on them with another guy, um... You shouldn't be trying to fight the guy. It makes you look like a goofy. In fact, you should be pressing your your girl. Like, what's going on here? And I don't I don't want to get into anything domestic. I don't think guys should be putting their hands on women if they found out they, you know, they cheated on them. No. Send her to the streets where she belongs. I never understood why guys would be so quick to fight other guys like oh you smashing my girl so now i gotta fight you no that's just what guys do like in a lot of situations a guy could be just chilling and uh you know he flirting with a chick out and about the chick may not even tell him that he's in a relation like she's in a relationship so you know what I'm saying he's just thinking it's fair game not even really you know taking into consideration that oh maybe Maybe she taken, you know, she's telling me she's single. All right, cool. And he's just doing what guys are naturally going to do. If they find someone attractive that's interested in them in the opposite sex, they just going to see what it's about. So I don't get why other guys would get mad because a, another guy is smashing a chick. Unless, unless, and this is the special caveat here, unless that person is like close to you, they're a close friend, a close family member then i can understand why you want to put hands on them i don't i, I wouldn't consider that person a, a goofy in that sense because it's like there's someone you trusted and they're messing with your girl yeah both of them definitely for the streets but you know one of them they may have to catch the fade you know definitely um it's just one of those things where i just i never understood that and I think uh, I've had this conversation with the homie Dub. Shout out to Dub. Uh, I've had a co conversation with him. And he's all he has that same sentiment. He's like, why get mad at the dude? Dudes are, dudes are just going to do what, you know, what we naturally do. Get mad at the chick. She's the one that's stepping out of bounds. You know what I'm saying? But I think it comes down to an ego thing. I think this is more of an ego thing when a guy finds out his girl's cheating on him. It's like an ego thing where it's like, well, now I got to fight you, you know, and it's 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 like, but why, though? Why even go through that? Why are we fighting over a chick that's clearly for the streets? Why are we fighting for her? Why are we fighting over her? Why are we fighting about her? I want y'all to understand a lot of stuff that happens, especially a lot of violence that happens between men. A lot of the time it's over a woman. It's over a woman or like money. But a lot of the times it's over a woman. And it just be like, for what? What's the point of us killing each other over this chick that's gonna get smashed by somebody else while we both long gone? What's the point in that? Huh? That doesn't make sense to me. And same applies here. If you find your girl cheating on you with another guy, and you really don't even know that person, don't get mad at the guy. Just be like, all right, man, hey, shit. Hey, you just doing doing what you're supposed to be doing. You are. If you're in a situation and chick throwing it on you, you're supposed to, you know, see what's up. Even if the guy knows that the chick is in a relationship, still don't get mad at him. Don't. I mean, it's messed up and karma is a bitch. So what goes around comes around. But still don't get mad at him. You want to know why? Because it's still up to the woman to in, either accept that or deny that it's still up to the woman your girl to be like nah i'm good i got a boyfriend nah i'm not gonna do that if she goes along with it that's on her kick it to the curb send her back to the streets that's all you can do so yeah this meme even though it's funny it's actually accurate there's a lot of guys that will sit up there try to kill somebody because another guy just out here having a good time you know what i'm saying so and uh you know it's just one of those things where I just want my fellas, my kings out here to understand. Find your girl cheating on her, cheating on you, keep it moving, man. Fun fact, your boy's been cheated on before. Yep. 
Uh, I want to say I was like a sophomore in college and I kind of knew something was up. We didn't stay in the same area. Like I, I was at Prairie View and she was uh, in another undisclosed location. I'm not going to say it, but she wasn't too far from me, but we didn't stay in the same area. So, you know, when we was able to see each other, we was able to see each other, but we hadn't seen each other in a while. And I knew something was up and she actually told me, you know what I'm saying? That you know, she had cheated on me or whatever. She was messing with somebody else or whatnot after I, I kind of picked up on some signs. And I wasn't even mad at the dude. I never even met the dude. Don't even know the dude's name. You know what I'm saying? I was more so upset with her because I was like, damn, that's kind of fucked up. But the point I'm trying to make here, my energy, my upsetness wasn't even focused on the dude. It was mainly focused on what she did and how things played out. And that's what I want us fellas to understand, man. Don't be ready to shoot and kill the dude that may end up smashing one of your chicks or your girlfriend. Kick her to the curb. You know what I'm saying? Don't even worry about it. And in those special situations where you're dealing with a shady family member or like a or 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 a friend that ends up doing something like that to you, I wouldn't even even entertain it because I know. A lot of guys would be really ready to box. I wouldn't even stoop down to that level. They both for the streets. Now you know how much of a family member they were to you, how much of a friend they were to you, and keep it moving. Because at the end of the day, life is short. Life is too short to be wasting our time killing each other over nonsense. You feel me? When there's plenty of other women out there that won't cheat on you, that won't have you looking stupid. There's a lot of more women out there than men in the world, statistically. So you're bound to find someone that's going to treat you right and do you well. And when you do, you ain't even got to worry about it. So it's a funny meme, but it has a message behind it. And I wanted to deliver it to you guys because, you know, I like to switch it up from time to time. And I like to, you know, try to give y'all some insightful stuff. So if you're one of those guys that have gotten mad at a dude and was ready to fight him because he was smashing your chick. Don't be a goofy. Do better. Be better. But comment down below. Let me know if you guys have ever been in that situation. And how did you handle that situation? But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 60K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.